Welcome back everyone. Well, it's the first week of January and it's cold and we looks like we've got like four storms back to back coming. So there'll be lots of shop time. I've had my my giant sequoias for about seven months now. And you can see these three are the best ones. This one's this one's going to be quite the quite the challenge. But it's obvious that this is becoming the leader, so it just needs a good haircut. Here's the runt of the litter. It's got some nice movement in the in the trunk. So I've been thinking about making a pot for them and doing a forest planting with them for quite a while. And I occasionally do cabinet jobs. And this is a leftover piece of birch plywood that I've had around for a while. And you can see that this is going to be this is going to be my first pot that has an irregular shape. So I I came in and I just drew this shape out of my head. I know a lot of people like to use sketch pads and and sketch out their their plans and their trees before they do them but I I tend to keep all that stuff in in my head and just and just use my mind to to visualize the the tree and that's what I did with this I just I just sketched it out like I like I wanted it to be so the first step is going to be to cut this out with a jigsaw so we'll get that done now did it all right so here's our piece of plywood and here's a tip on a on jigsaw cutting for you the this is the side that was up when I cut it and you can see there's a little tear out in, in certain places and that's not the best thing for for putting concrete on there <clears throat> so you always get a, a much smoother edge on the on the underside of the piece of plywood that you're cutting. So this will be the this will be the side that we use. So the next step is going to be to get our sand set up on here. And that's going to make the inside of the pot. And this little piece of plywood is a is a tool that I made that has about an inch has about one inch right here and two and a quarter going up here. So this piece right here determines everything about what your, what your pot's gonna end up looking like because this right here is the thickness of the wall. This is the depth of the, of the pot. So this, this piece of plywood is gonna shape the sand
this point and we can start we can start refining it some and all of this stuff in here is needs to come out because it's sticking up too much Since this is the inside of the pot, it doesn't have to follow the, the contour of the outside exactly. But it's always a good idea to, to pack it in tight around the, around the bottom here. You don't want any sand coming, coming loose when you're, when you're laying concrete in there. And this top edge right here is going to be where the curve is in the bottom of your pot. So that's really the place where you want to spend the most time trying to make a nice curve in the bottom of the pot. And this can go on for as long as you need, <laughs> as long as you, as, as much as you want to mess with it, really. I mean, it is the inside of the pot, so it doesn't have to be perfect. But I usually spend quite a bit of time to get this part like I want it. And this is definitely the motion you need to do is just patting all the sand together. Trying to get everything so it won't move when you apply the concrete to it. So there we go, we're getting pretty close here. it's time to clean up clean up all the sand around it and we'll be ready for concrete here in a minute 